gentlemen, boys and girls, friends, a very warm welcome to one and all present out here at the Sports Complex, Amity University, Noida. We're joined here with, uh, with Kevin Peterson, one of the uh, spectacular players of Delhi Daredevils, who's doing wonders in IPL season 2012. We'll be having a quick interaction session with uh, Kevin Peterson out at the F2 auditorium after this event. Uh, so at the moment, uh, we'll be having an interactive session with, uh, with the Amity University global team here. Uh, and uh, the Amity International School uh, cricket team. Kevin Peterson, uh, ladies and gentlemen, can we have a huge round of applause for Kevin Peterson? Uh, he's done exceptionally well in every form of IPL. The media is to
It's always nice to come out and uh, meet new people. Uh, we're obviously lucky enough to travel around the world and go to different cities and uh, be welcomed uh, into different cities. But Delhi is uh, very special to the Delhi Daredevils because of the support we get and the stadium that fills up at the Farosha Kotla. And uh, meeting some of the kids today, uh, quite a few of them said that they were at the past games. Quite a few said they're coming tomorrow. So, I mean, from all of us as uh, Delhi players, we just want to thank you for your support and. Uh, your kind generosity to helping the team win. Well, yeah, it's, it's great to be here and in front of you all. I mean, there were times when we were kids sitting just like you, looking at cricketers coming to our school and colleges. And uh, it's just a great feeling to be sitting here finally in front of you all. And thank you all for your support and always be there for our matches. Thank you. Next we have Aaron Finch, uh, share his experience uh, at IPL 2012 and his experience uh, coming down here at the university and interacting with the students. I think it's fantastic the support that, we're, that the Daily Data has had from Amity University and uh, just to see the support we've had today is fantastic and uh, I know Kevin did a clinic with all the kids before, I'm sure that they'll become better cricketers and hopefully one day they can play for Daily also. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Finch! Uh, next we have... Uh, Unmukhtan, can you share his experience, sir? No, really. Actually, coming to Amity is really special for me because uh, this is the place where I've grown. I was studying in DPS Noida nearby only, so... I'm a okay, so I'm a to So, it's really a special moment for me to come here and be a part of this, this group. Uh, thank you so much for your support and uh, all the best to you. Can you have a huge round of applause for all this, please? All right, uh, now the house is open for a uh, quick round of question and answer session. Not going to be a question and answer session of the type uh, we're having examination, don't you worry, guys. So uh, we're going to have uh, questions starting not from the media side, from the students. Uh, can we have uh, questions asked by the students? We have... Uh, my name is Michel Bravo. Who is your inspiration? Who is my inspiration? Yes. Um, I've always wanted to be my own person and to try and do whatever I like you. Um, so since I started playing, I've just tried to level things out and not try to follow anybody because it's quite difficult to follow somebody and if, especially if you're not that kind of person, it's quite hard to a certain person. But growing up, I grew up in South Africa and uh, I certainly love cricket. I love watching cricket. Um, I love the uh, John T. Rhodes, Alan Donald, Hansi Cronier. Um, from, from the Australian side, Mark Waugh, I thought was absolutely magnificent. Um, so yeah, there's a few people that I really enjoyed watching play, but in terms of following somebody, I find it very difficult to follow somebody in particular because if you're not that kind of person, it's quite hard to actually try and become somebody that you're not. Hey, my name is Sanjana. I have a question again for Kevin Peterson. Uh, do you regret missing the team squad in, for coming to play for the Indian cricket team, for the IPL, Delhi Daredevil squad? I, I didn't get, I, do I miss? Do you regret missing your session with your team squad, with your cricket team squad, your national team squad, in order to come and play for the Delhi Daredevils? I, I haven't missed anything home next week because we've got a test match against the West Indies. Dravids, 
um, and you become friends with these guys and you can speak to them when you play against India you can have a good time with them. You're playing now, we've never played with Vinci and stuff, so whenever we play Australia or whatever the case might be, you've got friends like around the world. So instead of just hanging out with a group of players that you have, you can hang out with other guys as well. So that's the great part of the IPL. Thank you. Can you have a question for Rumut, please? Uh, my question is from Kevin uh, Peterson. Uh, can you have a question for uh, My question is from Kevin Peterson. Uh, you have your next match with Mumbai Indians. So what do you have the strategies for against them and especially for Sachin Tendulkar? <laughs> Obviously Sachin is a magnificent player, um, uh, he's I think the greatest player that's ever played, um, apart from uh, Vinci. Um, look, in T20 cricket anything can happen on any day, so I just hope that one of our guys is man of the match tomorrow because you can't really identify too many players and say he's going to do this, he's going to do that because luck of the draw, whoever swings hardest with the bat. So, you need to prove your mark on the team, right? So, what's going in your head when we are just going to bat and field uh, matches and stuff? What's the strategies for that? Okay, uh, see, yeah, not much actually, you know. Uh, it's important for me, see, I have all the senior players with me, so. When I go to bat, uh, my role is to uh, support them, just play as an anchor, rather than you know trying to dominate over there. And it's basically uh, it's, you know you know cricket is played on the strings. So what I, in a T20 match, what I try to do is I try to play on my instincts rather than think too much before the game or either uh, either during the game. And obviously, if I have a senior players uh, playing with me, so my role is to play as an anchor rather than you know, dominating over there with something else. Can you kindly have your question, please? Thank you. My question for Mr. Kevin Peterson. So, myself, Rohan. So, I want to ask you, how is it playing in, in front of your home for in Lodge and playing in front of 30,000 people here in Trishwa Kotla where they support you when you score a century? It's very different. Lords is, a, is very traditional, a very English, um, very knowledgeable crowd. They don't generally... Um, <laughs> Much crowd over there. No, 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 I wouldn't say sophisticated, I'm just saying it's very traditional, okay, so it's, it's, it's more like clapping good cricket, whereas here in India, and especially at the Farasha Kotla, it is just intense and amazing, the noise, the volume uh, that they give to all the players, and just the respect that uh, the cricketers get from the crowds in India. Um, is is amazing. I mean, the crowds here are so much louder than any crowds you can play at this. Uh, uh, <laughs> hope you do well in your future, sir. So hope you do well in your future in your coming game. Hope you do thank well in your future. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much, Kevin Peterson, uh, in French, Unmukchan, and Manpreet Juneja for your precious and valuable time uh, to be here with us and in chat with the students. Can we have one last question, please? Can we have one last question, sir? Can we have one last question? Yeah. Can we have a question for you? Yeah, here. On your right. Yeah, straight. You have played with two great Indian legends, Rahul Dravid, when you were with Bangalore team, and now you are playing with Sehwag, Delhi Bell Devils. Now, can you share the experience of playing with two different legends and which experience has been better, playing with Daily Daredevils or RCB? Um, yes, to answer your question, Raul Dravid and Virina Sewag are magnificent cricketers. Uh, very, very lucky and privileged to play in the same dressing room as these two guys. Um, uh, India is very lucky to have had such great men as well as great cricketers. So. Um, I've also been lucky to play at RCB Bangalore and then obviously at the Farasha Kotla. Two stadiums are just immense. The support we get is immense. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've been very fortunate enough to have played it alongside two legends but also in front of two amazing crowds.